Imagine a scenario where you can use a laptop, phone, or electric vehicle for years without ever having to worry about charging it. While this scenario may sound like something from a sci-fi movie, researchers at the Idaho National Laboratory claim there is already enough nuclear waste in the United States to power the entire country for a hundred years. What are nuclear diamond batteries? How do they work and why is everybody talking about them? Join us today as we explore the latest news about nuclear diamond batteries and how this groundbreaking technology could change our planet forever. Batteries are used everywhere in our society from laptops to phones, watches to drones, and with an EV revolution ahead of us, the battery market is set to grow exponentially. The problem we have always faced with batteries is that they have a limited lifespan and in most cases can't hold a charge for more than 24 hours. Even the most advanced lithium-ion batteries suffer from these problems. It takes over one hour to charge your EV, and then you can only drive a certain number of miles before range anxiety kicks in and you need to recharge. And all batteries have a limited lifespan. The most advanced Tesla battery is said to have a lifespan of 20 to 30 years. However, the warranty of a battery is only eight years and covers a 70% charge. This means that Tesla expects the battery to degrade over the warranty period by 30%, leaving you with a car that can only hold a 70% charge. If you have ever owned a phone that wouldn't hold a charge, then you know that it's quite frustrating. Extracting nuclear power and using it to power your phones, laptops, and cars may seem like a crazy idea considering the PR that nuclear has received over the past few decades. However, if we step back and look at the facts, nuclear power is one of the safest forms of energy generation. According to research by the International Energy Agency, several prominent energy sources have been compared in terms of fatalities per unit of energy generated. The agency examined the life cycle of each fuel from extraction to post-use. The study included deaths from accidents as well as long-term exposure to emissions or radiation. Coal was the most deadly energy source, and nuclear was found to be the safest. Tesla CEO Elon Musk is also a supporter. He tweeted in response to the energy crisis in Europe, it's extremely obvious that Europe should restart dormant nuclear power plants. Nuclear is vastly better for global warming than burning hydrocarbons. Mark Andreessen, a billionaire investor, called for 1,000 new state-of-the-art nuclear power plants in the US and Europe right now, taking an opposing stance to the mainstream narrative. When you consider the statistics, it is both a safe and a clean source of energy. There are no emissions from nuclear power plants and the waste it produces can be recycled and used to generate more power. Once it has exhausted its useful power output, waste is safely stored in iron bunkers. But with the advancement of the technology we've discussed today, waste can be converted into a nuclear-powered diamond battery. The world's first nuclear diamond battery was created in 2016 by a team of researchers at the University of Bristol, harnessing the beta decay of nuclear waste. When an atom's nucleus has too many particles, some decay to generate a more stable proton-to-neutron ratio. This produces beta radiation, which contains high-speed, high-energy electrons or positrons. Beta particles are generated by nuclear decay, freeing semiconductor electrons and providing an electric current. Purely nuclear batteries are inefficient because the radioactive source loses power quickly over time. Researchers have recently solved this problem by creating radioactive diamonds using radioactive methane containing carbon-14 from a reactor graphite block. When exposed to beta radiation, these diamonds act as a host for the radioactive atoms, strapping the electrons they produce. This means that the battery can generate electricity for thousands of years without the need to be recharged. The first nuclear diamond battery was made using carbon-14, a radioactive isotope of carbon with a half-life of 5,730 years. In theory, this means that the battery will be able to generate electricity for over 28,000 years. The team at the University of Bristol are not the only ones working on this technology. The Idaho National Laboratory is also working on a similar battery using americium-241, an isotope of americium with a half-life of 432 years. The team at the Idaho National Laboratory claim their battery will be able to generate enough power to run a laptop for over 12 years. They are also working on a larger version of the battery that could power an electric car for over 10,000 miles. 
The potential for this technology is huge in helping to reduce and reverse the effects of global warming. The population of America alone uses 3 billion batteries every year to power radios, toys, cellular phones, watches, laptop computers, and portable power tools. The average person will go through hundreds of batteries in their lifetime. With millions of people on the planet, that causes a huge amount of waste that will be sent to a landfill or recycled. Most of the batteries that are recycled go through a high temperature smelting process similar to those used in the mining sector. These processes, which are performed in large industrial plants, are energy intensive. The plants themselves go through the smelting process, then ironically give off harmful emissions, the likes of which the lithium-ion battery was designed to prevent in the first place. And despite the high costs, these plants don't recover all valuable battery materials. Many batteries, specifically single-use ones, are not recycled and end up in landfills which eventually leak chemicals into the ground and cause pollution. If we could power our society with nuclear diamond batteries, then we could completely eliminate these issues. With all technology, there are positives and negatives, and the downside of these batteries is that they are new. The first nuclear diamond battery is said to have cost over $100,000 to create. However, the team at the University of Bristol is confident that with the help of Moore's Law, prices will come down as the technology is developed further. Much like the lithium-ion battery, prices have fallen from $1,200 per kilowatt hour in 2010 to $132 per kilowatt hour in 2022. This first application of a nuclear diamond battery would be in devices that are smaller and don't require much power. Initially, these could be calculators, watches, or TV remotes. Then, a medical application is expected for devices such as pacemakers, where it's hard to replace a battery. A nuclear diamond battery could easily power a pacemaker for the whole lifetime of the patient. The other area where these batteries could have a big impact is space exploration. The Curiosity rover on Mars has been powered by a plutonium battery since it landed in 2012. This plutonium battery will eventually run out of power and the rover will be rendered useless. If we had nuclear diamond batteries, then we could easily power rovers and satellites for centuries. The future of nuclear diamond batteries is bright, and it is hoped that within a few years they will be powering our everyday devices. <laughs> imagine never having to buy batteries again, but more importantly, imagine the impact that will have on our environment. Let us know in the comments if you would use a nuclear battery, or if you think they're still a bit unnerving. Thanks for watching to the end. If you like this video, consider subscribing to Velocity for more just like this.